Let's take another quick look over at Swabia. Oh, another big battle. Let's watch this one quickly. And it looks like once again, uh, Swabia has managed to push back the Arvernians. And another... Oh, this is just brutal. I would not be reinforcing that. You also need to stop force marching. Fantastic. He's doing really well. But I want to keep an eye on this because I think this is where the push is going to be. It looks like it's going to be a quick walk over Sparta. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Um, Magna Gratia has lots of money. Not much income, though. Lots of manpower. But their troops are not as good as the, the Spartans. Only 20% discipline, then the plus 25% on the heavy infantry. But more importantly, tech 13 versus tech 16. So 1.6 extra morale versus only 1.3. And that does come into effect. It really, really does. Uh, he's using citizen output, research points, and primary culture happiness. When we see this change to military um, bonuses, that's when you know the war is coming. Whereas you've got experience decay, national manpower, and research points. Hmm. If I were you, mate, I would use some kind of bonuses to morale and discipline. Morale of armies, discipline. Hmm. The experience decay would be good for him while he's drilling. Uh, all, yeah, just the, the massive amount of drill that he's got as well. Like, all of these armies are massively well drilled. Uh, just gives them, like, just bonuses. It's just bonuses upon bonuses. So, Sparta's a very, very difficult nation to fight. But, Magnaratia is more advanced than I ever was, so. Oh, he's at war now, and I think he's attacked Epirus. Yes, he has. Well, F's in chat, please, for my glorious nation, while we go and have a look at this. Another fight. Swabia's now got the uh, the tactics advantage. There was a switch in uh, in general, and another switch in general, but no switch in tactics. Ah, and he finally gets the tactics switched over, and now... I mean, it's, it's just too late, too little too late. He's still doing more damage to you. These archers are surprisingly good. I mean, they do a lot of damage, and they retreat before they take too many losses, but I was never, ever going to expect this kind of discrepancy. This is really good by Swabia. Massive, massive losses on the Massalian camp. I would love to see, which I can see, actually. We'll have a look at the losses for both sides after this fight. There's another 52,000. If, if these guys were closer, it wouldn't be a problem. It would not be a problem, but, I mean, it's too little too late. Alright, let's have a look at the losses. So, for Swabia, we have... Oh, Pictonia joined the war. Filth. So, losses for Arvernia Swabia. We can check that. Uh, how do we check that again? I think there's a button. There should be a button to swap over what we look at. Can I not see that? Oh, another battle there that they are victorious in. If I was... If I was not being a observer, I could see that. But unfortunately, I cannot see it. Let's, oh no, here it is. Right, so, Swabia has lost 227,000. The Arvernian Massalian Emporion mix has lost 473,000 troops. That is crazy. James, thank you very much for the diamond. It is much appreciated. As we switch back over to Magna Gratia, we see the death throes of my glorious army. I mean, I say army. It's, I mean, it's, it's just stood there doing nothing right now. This 41,000 is probably going to cross over the uh, over the, the river while it's got low morale. Or he could just go for Pella, one or the other. Yeah, Epirus has got some armies over here as well, so we'll see how he does. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, Epirus is long for the world. I mean, it just depends how much land can Magna Gratia take. They've got claims on a lot of it, and it could be that they take a lot. Let's have a look, actually. Um, they could take all of that. Until until I see from him take the, uh, the capitals, there's not really 
any way to check. Maybe if I switch over to Epirus and Super Piece, Offer Piece, let's have a look until we get to 100%. Because he can 100%. Uh, that's 77. That's 88. 99. He could take all of this in one war. And I don't doubt that he will. I mean, he might want Crete instead, but we'll see. Uh, Athens, are you involved in the war? No, you're not. If I was Athens, I would absolutely be jumping on this. I'm fairly sure you have claims, do you not? Yes, you do. Do you maybe have a truce with Epirus? Yes, you do, until 640. So for eight years, you have to wait and watch while Magna Gratia takes chunks. Shocking. All right, let's have a look. Uh, still, these guys are just stood here. They have not been able to dislodge these Swabians. I mean, in fairness, they have got this secondary way into the country, so while he stands here, he's he's just going to lose eventually because, I mean, he's not defending the other routes into his empire. Um, Denmark is being crushed over, although we get here just in time to see a Pictonian army defend in the marsh versus all of these guys, which I don't know where these guys came from. Oh, he's trying to get back on the boats. Is he going to get there in time? Going to arrive on 20th, 13th? You're leaving on the 4th. Yeah, you, you managed to get it off. That's a shame. That's a shame. You should still march all the way down and try and hit this. Just push him out. Uh, no other player wars. Let's see. Rhodes is still at war. Who are you at war with now, Rhodes? Oh, Epirus. You are at war with Epirus. You bastard. Epirus is at war with, yeah, just the two of them at the moment. I assume some deals have been made to uh, get my, my territory split up. Oh, sad to see it, sad to see it. Avatar, thank you very much for the lemon, man. Much appreciated. I do want to keep watching this, uh, this war over in Swabia, though, because at the moment, I mean, it's the only player war, and it is the most fun one regardless. So, yeah. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. I want to see more of these big 100,000 slog fests. Uh, Yamna is at war. Who are you at war with? You're at war with Mishishan. Yeah, there's so many pops here that are just free for the taking for anyone who wants them. And Yamna and Aksum are the ones that want them. They've got basically all of India for themselves with its colossal amount of population. So they're going to be gaining a huge amount in this session, I think. We'll have to, have to wait and see. Who else is at war? Aeolia is at war. Are you at war with Epirus? Yes, you are. I wonder, do you have any claims on me that you are going to take? Uh, possibly Hymamontus. Hmm, interesting. Uh, who else is actually at war with me? Let's have a look. Epirus is at war with Magna Gratia and Anatolia. You backstabbing bastards. Ah, <sighs> oh well. No more battles going on right now. I tell you what, they're not losing a whole lot of money. You would expect, I mean, he's now gaining money. Not very much, but he is gaining money. Uh, oh, battle. And I think we, yeah, you've retreated. Now there's a fight going on here. But archers versus light infantry. It's pretty easy to know who's going to come out on top in that one. Especially as you are using hit and run versus bottleneck. Yeah, don't try and hit and run a bottleneck. You are going to lose horribly. <laughs> Gotta admit, I'm rooting for Swabia something wrong. If I switch back to normal mode so I can perhaps see both sides, what has Arvernia got left in the tank? It looks like they are massing for an attack. Lots of unit reorganization going on on the mercenaries. Uh, how much money do you have? Shit tons and lots of income. Although you are tapped on manpower. Whereas Swabia still has 25,000. And there's only a need for 12,000. Oh, peace. Peace in our time with you. So what changed? Did the borders change there at all? Oh, this is what happened. This is entirely what happened. 
Tartessia and Celticia have gone to war with Massalia and Emporion. This is what I had heard was going to happen. Immediately we see the Celticians blockading the route from Emporion downwards, and this is a huge, huge war. Who else is getting involved in this? I don't know. Nice, I like it. Uh, save Swabia. Now, Swabia, are you you're still at war with Pictonia? There is a truce with Massalia. We could see, we could certainly see Swabia pushing in and just taking chunks out of Pictonia. I, I love it, I love it, it's fantastic. Let's over, hop on over to Celticia's point of view where they're just waiting on forts. Well, these forts are very difficult to take. You got plus fifty-two percent fort defense. Yeah, it's it's pretty difficult. Let's uh let's say it's pretty difficult. Is Emporion trying to defend though? Well, he's bought mercenaries, and I assume you'll be creating new troops as well. I mean, you used to have only seventeen thousand. You've still only got seventeen thousand. So that is a solid no on that one. Oh, wow. He's even got Athens involved in this. Very, very interesting. Athens, Tartessia, Celticia versus uh, Pictonia, Arvernia, Massalia. It's the south versus the north, basically. Although, Celticia is only at war with Massalia. They are not at war with Pictonia or Arvernia, and they are allied with them. Celticia is in for a big win here, I think. This is fantastic. Magna Gratia, what are you doing? You are at war with Celticia and... No, you're not. You've decided to stay neutral. Sad times. Uh, there's no alliances being broken, so I guess they just didn't get called... Oh, no, no, no. He broke the alliance with Massalia. He knew it was coming. Um, he has beaten another Epirut army. Sad times. Let's have a look at Swabia. They are indeed pushing in. Oh, yes. I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, go on, Swabia. I think, basically, probably what happened was Massalia had a war goal. Although, well, I'm fairly sure this was the war goal. Alps Carnier. And they had it sieged. So it's interesting that they didn't just use Force Peace to take it. I don't know. Um, Sparta, what are you doing? Are you involved in anything? No, no wars going on for you. I guess let's switch to the Emporian point of view, because they can see most things. The Massalian armies scrambling to get back, and Emporion just, uh, the fort has fallen, there's another one, and the way is almost, there's one fort, one hill fort, blocking Celticia from these juicy cities with their tons of pops, 129 pops, 62 pops, 32 pops. There is one fort blocking the path. Oh, oh, I love it. Tartessia has managed to sneak in behind, well, it's not really sneaking. Are you marching straight onto the fort? Yeah, that's so foolish. Because you're gonna get now the crossing penalty. What you wanna do is move to Sextantio and then move here. Then you don't have a naval landing penalty if you get attacked. Although, how many troops are you going to be able to get off the boats before you are crushed at sea? Oh, all of them. He managed to get all of them off. Now, having a look at this, he does have the correct tactic. Uh, he's losing out on the general, and your morale is just not as good. 3.8 versus... 4.6 and 4.6 huh interesting maybe 4.6 was your max and 3.8 was your max uh so let's have a look who is gonna win this uh i mean the ships are going down for tartessia and they saw them go up for Massalia, so they are capturing ships oh and he's got mega polyremes for days yeah you're not gonna be winning this you are not going to be winning this. He has the heavier ships. He has more morale. I assume he's probably got some naval bonuses as well. 
on the water, it does not seem like you have it. Although you did just sink a bunch of ships. And then you lost a bunch. And then you sunk a bunch, and then you lost a bunch. I think he's just going to lose on morale, to be honest. I want to keep this open, because I would love to see the results of this fight. But I do want to scan around to see other things as well. The landing has gone well. This fort did not manage to finish. Massalia is going to fall as well. Let's switch to the population map mode. Let's see how many pops are here. Tons. At least 170-ish. But the battle is almost over. Let's see what the losses were on both sides. So, uh, Tartessia lost 88 ships. Uh, Massalia lost 38. But they also gained everything here in red. So about 30 ships they had gained. So, yeah. Hmm. Interesting stuff here. Although, no it isn't. That's not actually what I'm looking at. Never mind, whatever. Battle's going on here. Immediately, Tartessia learned that their morale is not very good. And at least they've got the right tactic. It seems like Massalia is not very good at getting the right tactic when they need it. But they do have more troops. We have better troops, more discipline. The generals are, I guess, equal. 10 versus 10. Yeah, exactly equal. He's coming in with trash morale troops. I guess there's not really much option you've got. Although he'd probably be better off waiting until his troops were a little bit more morale. Although this 20k would absolutely crush them if, uh, if that was the case. Uh, Maximus is lagging behind. He's either going to drop or stay in. He stayed in. Good man. I think Massalia probably has this, although Tartessia is just doing so much damage versus him. Lots and lots of heavy infantry and uh, elephants even versus heavy infantry, archers, like however, it's just a mix. It's going to be close. I think it's just going to be morale. But if it's morale, then he can only retreat so far with no morale before Arvernia comes over and crushes him. I think this naval invasion is meeting its doom. There is no hope. For all of Tartessia's words, all of his bluster and hot air, he has been revealed to be exactly that, hot air, as 52,000 men retreat into Pisavi. I'm gonna get there on what, the 4th of August, on the 7th, they are going to die again. Well, he did manage to get some morale back, so he's doing some work, but yeah, this is this uh, this naval invasion is over. It is fully over. Are you going to follow? You should be. Arrelate. You need to go to Arrelate. And you're not. Why are you not? You could have stack wiped him right there. There is going to be a stack wipe. Although he did just get back some uh, morale. Or did he? Being in enemy territory, I guess maybe not. Trying to run away. Oh, and the battle's begun. You ran the wrong way. You could have been a stack wipe if you ran the right way. The other army has been crushed. But, Salticia is n having none of it. Here it is. This is the crush now. 40,000 troops. Uh, they are not going to survive this time. Wow. He's actually managed to get some morale back. Huh. Thank you very much for the diamond, James, and for the ice cream, Plebeian. Much appreciated, guys. And I guess he's just going to keep ping-ponging this army around. Jake would probably be better off just deleting it at this point. There is there's no point. And why these guys are not just crushing it, I do not know. He, As soon as the battle is over, you see where he's going, you march there, and it's over. Stack wiped. Stack wiped. Tartessia, are you building a new army? How much of an army do you have left? Uh, if we have a look here, Tartessia, on your side. Uh, lots and lots of manpower. 1,400 cohorts. There is a lot of troops left. This is not over just yet. And now we see the master plan. Saltesia, not at war with Arvernia. There is no hostility here whatsoever. He's just leaving Emporion to his own devices. 
Who else is involved? Swabia still at war with uh, Pictonia. Managed to take one fort, but seems to have stalled a bit there. Oh, he's been pushed back even. Pictonia is not out hey. of yet. Hello there. Uh, hey, uh, are you live streaming right now? I am, yes. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go watch. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah, yeah okay, no, yeah. Absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, see, I'm gonna find my. Alright. <laughs> that was Bosporan Kingdom.